Hello there, lovely people. It's Alex from Nintendo Life here. Now, the Super Mario series is host to some of gaming's favourite and most iconic characters. But as the cast list grows, so does the probability of characters being memorable for all the wrong reasons. Amidst the gold, there are a few specks of sourness that need to be highlighted for one reason or another. And so we've brought five of the most notoriously hateable characters from the series that we all love. In order to make things a bit more interesting, we've limited the list to only characters who have appeared as playable in one or more of the many Mario games. But anyway, enough waffling, let's get right into it. Number 5. Nabbit Despite adding some interesting variety to New Super Mario Bros. U, Nabbit has always been considered a nuisance. Even in New Super Luigi U, despite being an ally that you can actually control, he'll still steal any item from a chest if you don't grab it quickly enough, and the less said about his appearance in Super Smash Bros., the better. Nabbit, you're just rude. Number 4. Baby Mario Despite starting the irritating trend of baby characters being made to fill out the spin-off game rosters, Baby Mario was a legitimate part of Yoshi's Island. Unfortunately, this is the instance where he has been his most irritating, as whenever you take damage, Baby Mario is not only thrown from Yoshi's back, but will also scream incessantly until you retrieve him. We understand it's a very effective way to encourage players to get him back as soon as possible, but subsequent Yoshi games that omit this troublesome toddler have felt altogether better for it, and, more importantly, calmer. Number 3. Hammer Brother these days, these guys are still a tricky obstacle, but they don't give you too much of a headache unless there happens to be 37 million of them all at once in Super Mario Maker. But cast your minds back if you're old enough to playing the original Super Mario Bros or heaven forbid, the Lost Levels. Not only would these things throw more hammers in quicker succession to how they do today, but they'd also usually come in pairs. To this day, these toe rags are still notorious for their past indiscretions, even if these days they're not as intimidating as they once were. Number 2. Honey Queen First appearing in Super Mario Galaxy, this fluttering behemoth gave us the uncomfortable task of rummaging around her bulbous self in order to find five fragments of a launch star. As disturbing as it is to have to search through the many folds of an oversized insect, that's not why she's on this list. This bit part gargantuan beast was inconceivably shrunk down and squeezed into a cart for Mario Kart 7. Considering she was such a minor character in every aspect except size, this felt like a bit of a slap in the face when many other and far more popular characters were left out. And finally, number one, Baby Rosalina. Whilst most of the baby characters are a bit annoying for many, Baby Rosalina just outright doesn't make any sense. Baby Mario, Baby Luigi, Baby Peach, and Baby Daisy are all younger versions of their adult counterparts, but that simply cannot be the case for Rosalina, as her backstory was explained in the storybook segment of Super Mario Galaxy. Rosalina was an ordinary-looking child who garnered her iconic appearance later in life whilst living amongst the Loomers, so Baby Rosalina should just be, well, a baby. There are plenty of theories out there about Rosalina's past, but what we do know is that she looked like this and not this. Baby Rosalina is the epitome of a brutally inconsistent character made for no good reason other than to bump up the character roster. So there you have it. If you happen to have any corroborating opinions or just fancy virtually shouting something in the comments, then go right ahead. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, then why don't you finally resolve that love-hate relationship you have with that subscribe button, and be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. Thank you again for watching. Bye-bye.